win, and he can run the floor, and he knows how to finish around the basket. Well, let's take a look at the starting lineups for tonight. UTEP, this is game two of a three-game road trip. They've used eight different starting lineups. And what we're going to be keeping an eye on for Western Kentucky, obviously, the play of George Fant and also T.J. Price because UTEP wants to shut both of them down. And for UTEP, the big question tonight for them is Vince Hunter. He has not practiced the entire week. He is in the starting lineup. He had a knee problem. We watched him at practice today. He looked like he was 100%. How much are they going to be getting off him? That's the key. Well, you know what? It's really going to, I mean, his minutes are going to be determined by how his knee is. And uh, like you said, he looked good in practice. Not 100%, though. I'll disagree with you there. But uh, 90 from him is better than 100 from a Absolutely. lot of guys. Saw Tim Floyd, the head coach, in his fifth season at UTEP. Head coach of Western Kentucky is Ray Harper in his fourth year. Our officials tonight, Patrick Adams, Duke Edsel, and Orlandis Poole. Two, two great coaches who are going to really, you know, do a lot of different things to try to keep the other team off balance. Here's Omega Harris, just a freshman out of Bethany, Oklahoma, running the point. We saw him in the North Texas game. He exploded, and he has taken control of his team from the point. Well, right away, you got uh, Western Kentucky coming out man-to-man. -man. They would like to play 90% man if they could, but they'll throw a little bit of zone in it and also a little three-quarter court trap. Harris got a little shake, gives it to Washburn, shot clock at eight. Harris launches it, doesn't get it. Good ball movement, though. Both these teams know how to play. They, they, you know, they're an extension of their coach. They work the ball. They'll probe. Western Kentucky will try to go inside as much as they can. The other thing, look for, look for uh, UTEP to try and take Price out of the game as much as possible. Rose Stove inside, and he is fouled. Now let's talk a little bit about UTEP, located, of course, in El Paso. Joined Conference USA back in 2005-2006. They've won their last three road games and Tim Floyd's team comes in with a record of 12 and 5 first game in Kentucky since 1975 and only the second game against Western Western Kentucky and that goes back to 1969. You know what else was so impressive Ron when you look at that that shot 12 yeah. out of 13 on the road. It's so difficult to win on the road in college basketball and somehow and mainly because of that guy Tim Floyd they went on the road. Alex Rostov, he has been struggling offensively the last couple of games. Comes in averaging only over, just over two points a game. No points in two of the last three contests. He gets both free throws. And the Hilltoppers have the first lead of the game. Washburn loses the handle. And Western Kentucky almost gave it right back. You heard in the pregame, they want to try to push it up and run and try to get those open shots if they can. And here is Vince Hunter brings it across the timeline. How many guys, you know, his, his size can handle the ball the way that he can. That's what makes him so yeah. dangerous. He'll take big guys off the bounce all night long. Nice job inside Cedric Lang, the big center for UTEP, doing a battle inside. Omega Harris pull up, tough shot. You know, when you talk to Tim Floyd about him, I said, describe Omega Harris. He goes, he just has a knack for scoring. We saw it there. Well, you know, the great thing about him is not only can he score off the ball, but he's also capable of running the point for you, which makes him even that much more difficult because the ball is going to be in his hands a lot. Yeah. Played for Putnam City West High School, very outstanding high school in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Tim Floyd will run a ton of stuff. I mean, he runs a lot of NBA action, a lot of sets. They'll try to go in, and then they'll try to go out because they've got some really good shooters. Here is Cedric Lang, one of the most improved players in Conference USA, just banging for his first two. Well, you can't play behind him in the post and let him get it that easy. you got to work him off the block. You let him get the ball. Once again, they're going to play him man-to-man. -man. They're not coming with a double. So they got to take their chances. He is a senior out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and you can see the improvement he's made. That's why Tim Floyd says, look, at this guy has really worked at his game, and he is the most improved player in the conference. Well, he's a heck of a player on most yeah. teams, uh, Ron. He would be, he'd be the, you know, he'd be the top, top big guy. I mean, this team with Hunter, I mean, he's a great complimentary guy. Well, we see on the defensive side already, Julian Washburn right inside of T.J. Price's shirt. 
He is sticking right with him with those long arms. Well, what you also didn't really don't see off the ball is that they're chasing, they're sort of they're shadowing the point guard. Okay, they're 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 really trying to take the ball out of Harrison Doc's hands. Tim Floyd is probably he's probably one of the best coaches in America at the, at the jump defenses, yeah. the triangle and two, the box and one. I mean, you will see. I mean, a different set almost every time down, different defensive set almost every time down the court. Rostov at the line, already hit his first two free throws, gets his second. As we take a look at Ray Harper, he's already won national titles, not only at Oklahoma City University, he won a couple there at NAI school, and what a job he has done here at Western Kentucky. They've won seven straights since losing in that Louisville game, and you and I were here there yes, we were. for that ball game, and they had a chance to win that contest. Well, they did, but I'll tell you what that game did for them. It gave them confidence. Yeah. And they have not been turning the ball over since that ball game. And, uh, you know, it's a whole new team. Different team. Well, Julian Washburn with the jam. UTEP leads it by three early on. Try to run a little screen roll out front. Jackson almost carried the basketball. UTEP still trying to take uh, Western Kentucky's point guard out of the game by total denial. And that, that can disrupt the team. And just a moment ago, Julian Washburn with a slam dunk. Well, you know, before the game, Coach Hopp was talking about running. Well, UTEP can run also, as you see right here. Okay, and they can finish. Julian Wash Washburn, nice finish. You talk about the turnovers and what the Western Kentucky has limited. They're only averaging about nine turnovers a game in Conference USA play. That's down four from their season average. Little Chris Harrison docks with the basket. A little three-quarter trap, which they love to do after a made basket, especially after a three. They'll try to come up and pick you up three-quarter four. Fans wanted to travel. Hunter to the hole with a finger roll. Oh boy, he's got some skills, don't he? Yes, he does. And that's why every night when they play, there are there are many, many scouts in the in the arena looking at him. Dox has to dribble out of the crowd. They're coming off a 65-58 win over FIU. Didn't shoot well on the two-game Florida swing, but they did win both of the Florida games. Rostov off front. They need him to stop making a few jump shots for yeah. to really be dangerous because he's one of those guys that can stretch the defense. That's a three. Here comes Trency Jackson looking to push the ball. Harris picks him up quickly. Fenton trying to get position on the block. He is really doing battle now with Hunter. Hunter overplays him and picks his pocket. UTEP's got numbers. Three on two. <laughs> That's unselfish basketball. Uh, Hunter was smart enough to give it up knowing that he was going to get it back. A lot of guys don't want to give it up because they don't yep. really feel they're going to get it back. That's why this team is so good. Over here on this side of the court is continuing to deny, completely deny the point. Hunter trying to show a little ball skills. Harrison Doc staying right with him. I think he's looking for a little break now. He needs a blow, probably be coming out the game. UTEP 0 for 2 from beyond the arc, but they're 5 for 5, two point range. Coming up to a timeout. Harris dumps it inside. Nice double. They throw it away. Excellent double. And the ball will belong to Western Kentucky. Looked like it was off. <laughs> it looked like it should be going to the other team's ball. Well, Vince Hunter already with four points in the ball game, two for two with a little finger roll. And UTEP leads in the game. We mentioned the fact they've won 12 of their last 13 road games. They have been, I think this is very impressive what they've done, Coach, on the road. Well, it has. And there's, there's three things that make it all possible. One is preparation by the coach. Two is execution by the players. And then, of course, a sense of urgency by everybody, including the managers. Absolutely. And they're shooting 49% in that span. Harrison docks for three. The quick outlet. I like the fact that UTEP looks to push it. Oh, they do. Little hesitation. Up and under. Irvin Morris. Conference USA play. He's averaging 20 points a game. That's double his overall average. He's playing with tremendous confidence. The coach is giving yep. him basically the green light. And he's taking advantage of it. Now here's another big guy to put the ball on the ground. Fan hasn't done anything so far in this ball game. 
Here's an outstanding freshman, Justin Johnson, can't get the shot to go. It'll belong to UTEP. I'll tell you what, right now, if you're Western Kentucky, you want to buy a basket. You're one of five shooting from the floor. Well, you want to just keep going inside. Pound it inside, try to score a couple of baskets, get to the foul line, and then the outside game will open up. But both teams do such a great job of getting the ball from one side to the other and then getting into the post. Another talented young guy, okay, just came in for UTEP, uh, 41, uh, Matt Wilms, who I am so impressed with the way this right. big guy can run the floor. He's not a typical seven-footer. Now UTEP turned it over. That's the third turnover in this ball game. There's a good look at Matt Wilms, the sophomore, the seven-foot-one, 230-pounder out of Ontario, Canada. A project, but a nice project. Yes. Yeah, but Tim Floyd's very high on him. And he should be. Yeah. There's not too many big guys can run the way he can. This time he gets beat by Fan, who gets his first two of the ball game. Well, you know, one thing about Fan, you know, he's only 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, but when he gets the ball in the post, he doesn't play around. He just basically takes it right at you. A lot of guys would be pump faking mm -hmm. and pump faking, giving the defense a chance to get set. Six straight double-double games for George Fan, coming off a 20-11 and 11 effort. Well, showing us the sweeping left-handed hook. Nice hook. Well, you can tell the you a can, lost start. A lost start. The mic hand drill, where you practice shooting the right <laughs> hand, the left hand hook repeatedly. That's what that was the result of. That's pretty impressive. And for those who don't know, George Mike Hand, the first there big man, first seven footer to really make a, a, a name in the game of basketball. Well, DJ Clayton in Western Kentucky's lineup right now, and here's TJ Price. I think that's the first time he's touched the ball in the ball. Well, game. they've been denying him all over the place, which we knew they would do, and they've done a great job of it. Clayton short on the three, rebound Washburn, who's done a nice job defensively. Omega Harris to the hole doesn't get it. Harrison Dox pulls it down and they'll have numbers. Traveling. That's going to be a traveling on Price. I know the fans weren't happy, but if they didn't call a travel, they would have had to call a charge. Exactly. So guess what? If you're West Kentucky, you take the travel. And he did travel. One of those times you can agree with the referee. Right. Defensive man saw that coming all the way. Got himself set. Omega Harris sits down. And so does Price, so does Price. And, you know, when you chase a guy around, not only is the guy who's doing the chasing getting tired, but the guy who's being chased also yeah. because he's got to keep moving to try to get open. This is C.J. Cooper who's checked into the lineup, the senior out of Chino, California. And believe me, they do not lose anything when Cooper comes in the lineup. He is outstanding. Wilms inside. Oh, he just bangs it through. Ben Lawson, who's 7-1 also, put up the hands, but to no avail, and the lead is eight. Well, you know, once again, they're playing behind the post. And here comes UTEP. Washburn. Oh, he lost the handle. Uh, just going to make the layup off the backboard. Jackson doesn't get it. Finger roll, no. And Lang comes out of the pack. And UTEP's pushing. Morris for three. Clayton will just let it go down. We've got a timeout of the court, 11.59 left to play in the first half. Washburn has one dunk, and he also has one oops. In the game. Just, just remember, North Texas had a 27-point lead on Creighton. There you go. Did you do that? <laughs> UTEP is on an 8-2 run, 17-9. Before the game, we heard head coach Ray Harper talking about getting physical, getting out, and going. Well, they're not doing that right now. It's kind of dangerous to get down by this much to a team like Utah. Well, you can't get down. I don't care if you're home or not. You can't get down to a team that's as good or better than you are, and that's what's happening right now. And you see what they did against FIU the last game. Shot only 35% for the contest. Slow start in that game. And Western Kentucky will have it. With 21 to shoot, nice block. Very nice. Long, using that length, 
And I guess this guy is going to be a heck of a player. Coaches are very high on him. He has his 19th block of the year. Big match. They're closing out really nice, okay, against the shooters. TJ no. Price. <laughs> That's what they need, though. They need this guy to be able to, you know, make a basket or two for him, especially now. Little pressure. That is his first field goal, and right away, Tim Floyd calls a timeout. TJ Price comes in averaging over 17 points a game. Shooting 46% from beyond the arc. He makes his first field goal of the year. Get that again. Well, look at this play and what uh, West Kentucky does. They set a little back screen, a little clear action. So they're going to reverse the ball. That little screen here, okay, set it up for Price to knock it down. This is a young man that's had 20 or more points in seven of the last game, nine games versus D1 teams. And he can fire it up in a hurry. Had a great visit with him earlier today and talk about how teams are coming at him now. And he's a kind of a marked man. He says, I just have to remain patient. I wouldn't have done it last year. I would have gotten frustrated, but not this season. Well, there's no need to. I mean, they're a good basketball team. There's a lot of different guys that can score, so you don't have to take it upon yourself. Lead cut to five. Washburn, the turnaround, doesn't get it. Rebound into the hands of Jackson. Big possession here for Western Kentucky. Only down by a two possession game, down five. Don't like the length of their passes though. They've got to shorten up those passes a little bit. Vant goes to the left hand, doesn't get it. Tips it, gets his own rebound, doesn't get it. They'll try again, rebound Ben Lawson. Possession arrow, Western Kentucky. Fant averages just a hair under four offensive rebounds a game. He's a workman. He is a workman, and he's got such a knack around the basket. Like that time there, yeah, he, he released the ball before the ball almost touched his hands. Western Kentucky in that possession did exactly what coach wants him to do, get after it. And you saw some numbers on George Fant. The 6'6 six, six senior out of right here in Bowling Green, Kentucky, Warren Central High School. Both teams run such nice action out of bounds under and they spend a lot of time covering it. This bad fan loses the handle but it falls off the leg of Matt Wilms and it belong to Western Kentucky. Now Western I and mean, UTEP loves to go 2 three zone out of bounds under and then this is when they like to go to maybe one of their junk defenses. Didn't do a good job that time though. You can't let that guy get open. By the way it wasn't a possession error on that last turnover there. It was a foul against Vince Hunter. Little zone for Western Kentucky, maybe to buy a little bit of time for Fant. Not a good pass, trying to look for Hunter on the inside. Can't Plenty of time to shot clock. That's exactly. Absolutely. Doing a nice job, Western Kentucky, getting their hands on a lot of balls. Eventually, that leads to a turnover. Hunter sees the double. Wilms tries to take it away. Stepped out of bounds, and it belonged to Western Kentucky. You know, home crowd can really help you, yeah. and it can also help to persuade the way certain calls are being made. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not saying that West, West Kentucky is getting a, a pretty good whistle right now. They've got to take advantage of it. Tim Floyd trying to get Hunter to move over a little bit and spread out because they've got a shooter in Jackson standing on the inside, but instead they get it to Lawson with the tip. Doing a nice job. It's a good game for the big guy to play against another seven footer. They'd rather play against guys their own size. Nice pass. Nice pass inside. Slam dunk by Matt Wilms. You know what's so impressive about uh, Hopper? He's not. He's not a selfish player at all. Hunter. He's not selfish. He'll give it up. Now Wilms comes in averaging just about three points a game in conference USA play from the outside. That is a two. Well, you know Tracy what? Jackson here. Yeah. And once again, another great screen set by Ben Lawson. He's doing a great job for him. He's getting these guys open. You can give him an assist on two of those three-point baskets. UTEP worked a lot on this during the shoot-around as Hunter takes it to the hole. And you know what, Ron? You can work on that all day long if you don't have a guy with his ability to finish it off. It's not going to yeah. be any good. Western Kentucky now three of six from beyond the arch. Kept him in this ball game, only down by five. Price. Jackson for three, buries another one.
Jackson with five in the ball game, and the lead is down to two. What a luxury to have a 6'8 guy at the point of your press offense. Tim Floyd talked to his team this morning about poise on the road. Not a real good possession make that time for, for Utah. Hunter misses the jumper. Here comes Jackson again. Jackson's feeling it. I'll tell you, he, oh, yeah. next time he touches his hands, looks like to go up. Nice side, George Kent the third. He just keeps you so off balance, Fant does, that uh, you don't know when he's going up. Here we go, 21-21. Third tie of the ball game and a traveling call against UTEP. Is Hopper fired up or what? That number 14 lost in set. He mm -hmm. got shooters open when they needed a couple of big baskets. That's what helps you win basketball games. And this is a team that's on a seven-game win streak, and they've averaged nearly 82 points a game during the win streak, outscoring opponents by 19. And they've scored on five of their last six possessions after a very slow start. Well, you know, we talked about it before the game, how much more confident they are yeah. ever since we saw them early in the year against Louisville. They're playing with a tremendous amount of confidence, and these guys really believe right now they're going to win every game. That's how they're playing. Jackson already with one three, doesn't get this one. Rebound tipped around. They get the offensive rebound with Price. Nice Price pass. dishes to Lawson. You know, a game like tonight, Lawson, is, you know, you, you talk about another guy that can really help you. Well, I just love the way that they use Hunter against pressure. 7-0 run for Western Kentucky. That's going to be an offensive foul. Well, it should be an offensive foul. Let's yeah. see if it is. I don't think they called it. I think they called the block. But, but down at this end, I mean, right now, West Kentucky is just hungrier. And once again, Lawson's in a great position to receive that pass from Price and score. I think if you're UTEP right now, you've got to be a little concerned. 20 of your 21 points have been in the paint. You don't have any points from outside the paint. There is no outside shooting for them in this ballgame. But if you're down by two points and you haven't got a three. Right. And you're only down by two, then that's really good. You know, you got to feel pretty good about your chances, especially the way they can shoot the basketball. Ryan gets the second. Ray Harper, Western Kentucky, lead by one. 6.53 to play in the opening 20. A little 1 3 1 now by UTEP. They love to go to the 1 3 1, you know, just as a change up, and they'll stay in it usually. William Washburn not in the ball game right now. He did a great job on Price in the first part of this opening half. Price gives it up. Jackson the leader. Good call, Ruff. Got him right on the elbow, Ron. Yeah, C.J. Cooper whistle for the foul. But that's the way to attack the zone, yeah. be aggressive, move the ball from one side of the court to the other, and then attack the basket. Here's a good look at Trency Jackson out of Jackson, Mississippi. Spent some time at Texas Tech. Had a bit of a shooting slump the last four games, shooting only about 21%. But you know, in the five conference games, he's, he's shooting 47% from three. Yeah. Okay, and uh, once again, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous shooting. That's close to 70 from the field. And the lead goes to three. Here comes the Western Kentucky three-quarter court pressure. Most of the time, they'll go back to, to man. Let's see what they do this time. It's like they're going back to zone. So now Western, Western Kentucky, uh, UTEP's got to move it, get it from one side to the other, try and get it to the short corner if you can, and then go inside. They do go inside, and Hunter with the tip. Well, you know, a lot of people, you know, against zones, you think you're just going to get jump shots. If you do a good job and you're patient, you can you can set screens against it. You can go inside with the dribble. You can do a lot mm -hmm. of things. Same things you can do against man. They need this guy to knock down a few, though. 
Yeah, I talked to him before the game about that. He said, I coming off a game where I was only 0 for 4. He said, I just have to be patient. You'll have another opportunity. Harrison Dox pushing. Right. He's also going to follow through a little bit more, too. Right? And Omega Harris is going to be fouled by TJ Price. Good foul in one sense, taking away a possible basket. But then again, you know, you don't want those fouls to come back and hurt you later when you're sitting on the bench. That's the first foul on TJ Price. And that is the 13th foul on Western Kentucky. Jackson will go out. TJ Clayton checks into the lineup for Western Kentucky. Still waiting to see Urban Morris kind of get untracked here for Utah. Well, the way he's been playing, it's just a matter of time. Yep. WKU right now has got a, looks like a four-point offensive rebound advantage. Been a lot of ball games that way. Got to finish those line. The George Fant's going to be whistled for the foul. That'll be his first personal. Once again, you, you know, you can't just totally play behind these guys. They're too big. They're too talented. And then you put yourself in a position yep. where you can pick up fouls. And yet at the same time, you don't want to double in the post because of the way they can shoot the basketball. So it's like pick your poison, but I think you got to sort of like three quarter these guys, play them sort of a little bit on the top side, try to force them off the lane. Don't let them get the ball that easy in the post. You know, coming into the season, as we look at Cedric Lang, coaches were saying we hope we can get eight to nine points out of him in three rebounds a game. How about getting 10 points a game and six rebounds a game? Well, that's pretty good, I'll tell you. Yeah. And that's why coaches right now are talking about how, how improved he is. But you know, the one thing with this team, I mean, they basically have three three guys up front that rotate. If any one of the three bigs for Utah gets tied, okay, they Lang, Hunter, they'll put the hand up because they know they got a pretty good guy coming in for them and win. This is the time where UTEP usually goes on a run because all five Conference USA games this season, they've ended the first half on major runs. Well, great teams do that. Uh, you know, once again, people see Duke all the time on television and coach slapping the floor. Yeah. And usually it's the end of the half or the beginning of the second half. That's what coaches tell you the games are usually won and lost. And there's a turnover. That's a traveling call. Six turnovers in the ball game for Western Kentucky. And... Make it seven turnovers. Yeah, you wanna you wanna win the turnover to uh, the assist to turnover battle. If you do and you rebound the ball, you got a pretty good chance of winning most of your basketball games. Averaging about 13 a game. So quick with the ball. There's Morris falls down, and that's gonna be a three-shot foul. And I think it's going to be on T.J. Price. Yeah, and you know what's so bad about that? It's right in front of your bench, right yeah. in front of your coach. And that's his second personal foul. Yeah, you can't foul a three-point shooter. I mean, these guys haven't, they're not shooting, they're making the threes, so there's no need to foul a three-point shooter. And he's only shooting 88%. I believe it's so he's shooting well he's shooting 69 so it's not as bad as if you, if, if you fouled Harris so I'll talk about a guy that's improved coming off a career high 23 points versus UTSA that is Irvin Morris just the junior you can see just about doubled his average from non conference to conference play very difficult to make three in a row from the free throw line let's see what happens Sale changes. Julian Washburn will come back in for UTEP along with Matt Wilms. They're going to give Hunter a rest. Western yeah. Kentucky will go a little bit deeper in terms of number of people played uh, than, than UTEP. UTEP's basically seven and a half, eight guys. Uh, Hunter is not afraid to play his ninth and tenth guy. All right. Hopper, I mean, I'm sorry. Now he misses. Two in a row. I got, I got Hunter on the mic. Here you thing. go. UTEP leads it by two. They've led by as many as eight in this game. And nice there's crap. a steal. Morris takes it away with an emphatic slam dunk. Well, you know, it's one thing to steal it. It's yeah. another thing to go down the other end and dunk on it. Dunk on you. I'll tell you what, he tried to hurt the rim. Well, I think he did. Good defense. I'll tell you, all started a lot by, by uh, Washburn just hassling Trency Jackson. Well, you know, once again, stealing a basketball, it's a lot. There's a lot to it. Uh, you got to get into the passing lanes. You've got to time it. But then when you get it, you got to do something with it, right. which, which he did on that particular possession. Four straight possessions. Western Kentucky has turned it over. 
Washburn sees the double. Is the big guy shooting outside? I don't know if Coach really wants that, but got to let him do it a little bit so he feels confident and you, he knows you trust him. Rosto, they give him the open look, doesn't get it. Tries to track down his own rebound, stepped out of bounds. It'll be UTEP's basketball. 3.49 to play in the half. Western Kentucky made a run, but UTEP leads it by four. And 25, we take a look at our game summary. You can see the three-point field goal shooting has really kept Western Kentucky in this ballgame. It has, but right now they've got to do a much better job of taking care of the ball because I believe uh, UTEP has, what, eight points off yep. of the turnovers. They're up a plus eight off turnovers. We talked about how Tim Floyd talked to his team earlier today about poise, and they withstood that run by Western Kentucky to take the lead. And I tell you, that was a good recognition by Wilms, realizing that Rostov was guarding him and taking advantage of it. Well, whoever the big man coach is for UTEP, he's doing a heck of a job. Absolutely. Because, uh, you can tell that young man really knows how to play in the post. And UTEP now on a 9-0 run. Rostov. That's a tough shot. Doesn't get it. Rebound knocked around. Clayton comes up with it. Possession arrow will belong to Western Kentucky. And that'll get Ben Lawson up off their base. He'll check in. You know, the, the offensive rebounds by Western Kentucky is really, is right now what's keeping them close. Fan inside uses the muscle but gets rejected by Wilms. And did you notice Wilms did not leave his feet? No. He just extended those long arms straight up, which is what you're supposed to do if you got a six inch advantage on a guy. Trying to get it in the lane on the right block. Gives it up, Washburn, that's a two. You know what's good about that, Ron? He didn't try to search for the three-point line. He caught it yeah. and shot it where he was open. Now we talked about UTEP going on runs to end the half. And you know what I noticed about him, though? I, it seems like they pick up the defensive intensity as the half goes on when the other team gets tired. Now Lawson will go to the line, the converging defense of UTEP. And the foul's going to be on Cedric playing his second. And that'll be the 15 foul. That's a good look at Ben Lawson out of Hitchin, England. And his mother watches on the internet the games. Well, she's got to be pleased watching tonight because she, she'll probably talk to him about his free throw shooting after that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're talking eight points. You're talking 234 to go in the half. The magic number for most teams, you want to get up by double figures. So it's very important right now for uh, Western Kentucky to keep it under 10. And, of course, UTEP wants to try and see if they can get a basket. Well, the self-described mama's boy doesn't get either one of them to go down. Got to make free throws. Final two and a half here in the first 20. Hunter checks back in, and he just tried to make a cut, and he grimaced. You know what else is kind of wow. noticeable right now, Ron? The, the crowd, if you notice how yeah. quiet they've got. And obviously, it's tough to get excited when your team's not scoring. Well, this the sweeping right hand, left hand doesn't get it. Rebound, fan. Plenty of time for Western Kentucky to make a run here as we near the end of the first half. Oh, yeah. Fan from 17. I'll tell you, Wilms is playing a whale of a game right now for Utah. Yes, he is. And we've got a whistle. I tell you, you're right. Right now, Vince Hunter looks like he's in a little bit of pain. Well, not exactly walking smoothly. No, he, he's not. And and that also, he's tired. And this is where, you know, you'll see him probably come out again. Well, maybe not with 151 to go. He hasn't practiced much. You mentioned that before the game. So he's a little winded. He practiced the whole week, to be exact. Williams wants the ball and gets it. Don't be surprised if Coach Floyd doesn't go back and play some zone. Maybe to give... Uh, give our man a, a chance to catch his breath, Mr. Hunter. Matching the biggest lead of the game, it is at eight. Showed the double, backed off on it. What a luxury, though, to have a big guy that can put the ball on the ground. That's a three by Morris into the hands of Roscoe. And here comes Harrison Dox. Western Kentucky, no points on their last nine possessions, five turnovers. Got away with the charge there. Give it up, Clayton for three. Clangs it off the back.
This is where Coach Floyd likes to run one of those pro sets and just mm -hmm. use a little clock and try to probe and see if he can go inside. Got to keep an eye on C.J. Cooper. Last three games, 8 of 16 from beyond the arc, and he keeps trying to leak behind the line. Shot clock inside of 10. He'll work on Harrison Dox. Hesitation, lost it. Good defense. Harrison Dox. Hill, that should be an offensive foul. He put out the arm. Yes. Easy call. Easy call. Anytime you lead with your with your forearm in basketball, it's usually going to be called right there. A yeah. great footwork by the defense. He got both both of those puppies over in front of the guy. 11 turnovers in the first half for Western Kentucky. And talking to Ray Harper a while ago, he was telling both of us that a lot of the turnovers early on in the season were brain cramps. Just things <laughs> they, that, that, you know, you just like that. You forget what you're doing. Well, that happens sometime when you, you know, when you've got young players. But fans inside, no. That would have been huge. Up ahead, Washburn. Morris streaks. What a shot by Urban Morris. Great job avoiding the charge. And he is may have gotten the wind knocked out of him. Won't be as bad. They were averaging like 17 mm -hmm. turnovers a game. They they cut that back. They didn't lose many. And now they turn it over again. Can't turn the basketball over. And it's a 10-point advantage. Shot clock turned off. Final 13 seconds. Huge possession. will spread it out for both teams. Oh, yeah. Great defense. Jackson. That's going to be a three-point shot, I think. Let's see what the official says. It's going to be on Omega Harris. You know, that's, that's a bad foul for a couple of reasons. One is it's a three-point shot. Okay, the other thing is you're longer than the man shooting the ball. Yeah. You don't have to leave your feet. And you never leave your feet versus a three-point jump shooter anyhow. Now, the replay we saw looked like he was behind the three-point line. Jackson should yeah. get three on this. There's a better angle from up above. <laughs> yeah, he's behind it. He went that little step. He's behind it. You can't join that parachute club if you're Omega Harris. No, you can't. But the good news is he's a 53% free throw shooter. And yes, he'll probably make them all. <laughs> 53%. You figure, ah, you know, okay, maybe he makes two. That's in conference play, 64 overall. overall. Still not good. Yeah, still not good. Got a row. Two for two. I'm telling you. But it's very difficult. I tell you, most of the time, most guys go to the free throw line for three shots. They come away with two. We'll see what happens here. That's tonight, four for four. And he makes it five for five. <laughs> and that's the way the first half is going to end. UTEP went on a mini run. How about T.J. Price taking only two shots for Coach Harper in that first half? This is a young man that averages 17 field goal attempts a game. He's their leading scorer. who has been red hot. Let's see when they get the basketball, if they can do something with it. That was a tip. That's the defense. That's that's yeah. that that's that uh, junk defense, that box and one, triangle and two, denial defense. And George Fant's going to be whistled for the foul. That'll be his second personal. Boy, they cannot afford to have him go out of the ball game. Coach Harper not making any move yet. You know he's come such such a long way as far as being able to stay in the game. Yeah. yeah. Looked like they got away with a little foul that time, West Kentucky did. So Lowestoff did not commit the foul. It wasn't called anyhow. Exactly. See if they can do something offensively. Six of their final 12 possessions, they turn the ball over. That's going to be a trip against Irvin Morris. You know, I was just going to say that, you know, Fant, the thing that's really made the difference for him is he lost. he's lost about 30 pounds since the end of the last season. Right. He is quick. And he's not committing, I think, tired fouls like he used to. So he's able to play more minutes and be more and more productive as he goes along. It's having a fantastic year. He is an exceptional player. He's engaged to Chastity Gooch. 
who is a member of the women's team here at Western Kentucky and the preseason conference player of the year. That's a pretty interesting couple. And I, I, must say. I asked him, I said, when we were here the last time, I said, who wins the one-on-one? -on -one? He goes, oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you got to learn that, buddy. <laughs> is that 1-3-1 one, one trap, which is really tough to play against. Price tries to dribble through the double, and he is fouled out of play, and it's going to be on Julian Washburn. That'll be his first personal foul. Yeah, Christ just, you know, and I talked to him today about it. As I mentioned that he's, you know, my team's just coming after him. He says, I just have to stay patient. He's six, only their second conference win and their first conference win at home. And against an excellent, excellent team. Who figured? Will we have any undefeated teams in conference play after tonight? Hunter with a slam dunk. Once again, Western Kentucky also undefeated, but UTEP with only one loss. They could have a share of the lead after tonight. Harrison Docks does a nice job trying to get away from Morris. Got to get a little bit more out of him if they're going to be able to beat this UTEP team. Fant sees a little bit of an opening, uses his body. Fights for the offensive rebound and a putback. No. But boy, does he get after the basketball. He's so quick to the ball. How many misses has he had, though, close range tonight? At least three I can he's, had, he's had quite a few, but once again, you're talking about playing against guys that not only have length, but also athletic ability. Playing the hunter. And count the basket, he'll go to the line. Great hands. Oh, my. That was not, that, that was a very difficult catch and score. But that's what great players do. Nice dive. Okay, great pass by Lang. He scores off of, off of, on a very difficult play. That was on Chris Harrison Dox. That'll be his second personal foul. And that'll send Hunter to the line. Hunter, yeah, Hunter was, now with 13 in the yeah. ball game. And I was going to say, he was only shooting 45% in league play from the free throw line. So, you know, a lot of times it's not how many, it's when you make them. And that's going to be a foul, and we've got a UTEP player down. Looks like uh, Morris yeah. ran into ran into Dox's elbow by mistake. Vince <laughs> Hunter picks him up, just pats him on the head. And it'll be Western Kentucky's back. And a little token pressure. I'm looking at the defense here, and they're continuing to, hunt, you know, just shadow uh, Price. They've got mm -hmm. uh, they've got uh, Washburn, I believe, on them, and uh, just just you know just hunting them down, trying to keep the ball out of his hands. This is where Jackson has got to step up, step up and knock down some threes. Jackson inside of Rosto, and we've got a whistle and a foul. And that'll be against UTEP. Mm -hmm. How about George Fanto? Five, three of 11 shooting in this ball game. Came in at 51% from the floor. He can't get untracked either. But you know what? If he makes three in a row, it's, he's 50%. <laughs> there you go. Price gets the basket from the inside. Great execution. That's only his second field goal made of the ball game. He's two of five now shooting. You know, it really pays uh, to really work on stuff today. And the last thing that West Kentucky was working on was their out-of-bounds mm -hmm. underplays. They spent a lot of time doing that, too. Well, they do, because they know how important a game like this, one basket could be the difference between winning and losing. Great job forcing the ball that time. Ball is tipped. UTEP will have it with eight. Now, Tim Floyd knows the importance of this game. Their shoot-around was intense today, and that intensity is carried over to this ball game. Western Kentucky, 40-32. UTEP leading by eight. And one of the reasons is they've been doing a great job of T.J. Price and George Fant. The two have combined for five of 16, and one of the reasons Price is the play of Julian Washburn, two-time All-Conference USA defensive team. And let me add to that, Ron. Today during, you remember, you remember when, when, when Tim came over and he said, Washburn, the best defender yeah. in college basketball, not just in, That's right. in, in, in Conference USA. So he's really, really high in this kid. And of course, he's proven it tonight against Price. And I tell you what, he has done a great job against Price. Only five points in the ball game. Comes in averaging 17.6. Conference average over 19 a game. Now he goes on offense, working on Price. Face one way, goes the other, can't finish it out. Great rebound by Lang. 
and he will go to the line. Workmanlike effort by Cedric Lang again. Well, let's go to Washburn, back to Washburn again. I want to make a point. You know, early we were talking about the fact that his field goal, his three-point shooting yeah. percentage is down. And what I said to you was the reason why his offense is down is because his defense is up and because he's got to run around and chase guys like Price. He's going to cover the other team's right. best player, their best perimeter player. And that takes a lot out of your legs. He'd probably be better off if he didn't take any shot. <laughs> and here is Cedric Lang at the line for UTEP. Six points in the ball game, make it seven. Nice stroke by the big guy. And the lead goes to nine. The biggest has been ten. We've had four ties, three lead changes in the contest. Here's the double. And it came quickly for Morris. Bryce sees a little bit of daylight. Pull up baseline. Nothing but the bottom. Nice, nice, nice mid-range mid, mid -range game on that one. Coach wants to see a lot more of that out of him, too. Not just threes. Washburn sees some daylight, loses the handle. It'll belong to Western Kentucky. Well, good. nope, they changed the call. Well, they made the right call. Yeah. I mean, it should have been a foul, first of all. And it, it definitely was UTEP's ball. And that's what referees supposed to do, make the proper call. And you'll see it. Well, that was on the other end, too. We saw the job that T.J. Price did. Ray Harper does not like it. Well, you know, you, you want every call. I mean, that's the way it is. Yeah. You're not going to get them. A little close the gate action. He moves, as they call it, I think, the picket play. Harris, he'll launch the three. Doesn't get it. Roast off quickly to Price. Jackson spotting up for the three, and they find him. There it is. Got it. with a one-handed catch, almost getting a little sloppy with the basketball, then they throw it away. Give him a little bit of their own medicine. But you know, that last that last jump shot by Jackson was set up by great penetration by Price. And I think we're going to see it right now. Great penetration, kick to the open shooter, bang. Now that's a good sign if you're Western Kentucky because the last three games you have shot just about 28% from beyond the arc. And now the lead is cut to four and they have the basketball. Every time Western Kentucky has chopped into it, UTEP has come back. Let's mm -hmm. see what they do this time, Mark. Once again, the word that Tim Floyd has used, poise. Jackson dribbling around, going nowhere quickly. Double. Guys open. Fan to Rosto. guy on the weak side he's kind of tough to double because you're, you're letting that guy get in position for a layup Hunter that's going to be possession arrow Western Kentucky a little too much dribble that time by the big guy I think if you're Tim Floyd you got to be a little frustrated because you spent a lot of time showing your players what to do against this press well you show your players what to do against everything but at, at the end of the day it's up yeah. to them to execute on the court Western Kentucky on a 7-0 run. Great substitution here. Good time to get Hunter out. Those are those are tired. I'm tired mistakes. Hasn't been a one possession game since the 441 mark of the opening half. Throw it inside. Fan. Nice move. Williams was expecting some help, I think. Well, the, the help had got what should have happened and didn't happen was you got to pressure the basketball. That pass is made because there's no pressure. Williams is going to be fouled by Roscoe by the play. Let's go back to that pass inside to George Fan. Great seal by Fan. Got great position. Used that uh, elbow, or his forearm, and his back nicely without fouling. And then a great pass over the top. The pass is made because of a lack of pressure on the basketball. You have to pressure the ball. Yeah. And Matt Wills will go to the line. 68% on the year from the stripe. Got a new ball game here, Ron. That's exactly right. He's only shot two free throws in conference play. Made one. Made two. 
And Lawson will come back into the lineup for Western Kentucky. And Rosto, who's given him more minutes tonight than I think a lot of people expected, and good minutes at that. He has. He's done a nice job uh, banging on the board, setting screens. Kind of short armed it, but Washburn pulls down the offensive rebound. Huge rebound. Gets it back into the hands of his guard. Lang's got position on the left block, but Fant pushed him off. Cooper, the three. Here comes Western Kentucky with a chance to regain the lead. This is where the big guys have got to step up, make it happen. Price almost got caught in no man's land. Dribble penetration, the reverse. No! But the slam dunk by Ben Lawson. All these seven footers are doing a real good job tonight, aren't they? Outstanding court awareness by Lawson. On the other end, Morris, no. Lang goes hard into the stanchion, and here comes Western Kentucky up by one. Price. Great time, though, to go for it. Why not? If he makes that, he wins the house. Now. The house goes. Here's Cooper. Man, these fans are outstanding inside this arena. Great, great. One of the best, you know, venues in college basketball is radio. Great fans. Very appreciative. They even they will even tell you after a game if you beat them that you've done good. Lang count the basket, send them to the line. Let's go back though to Ben Lawson on the follow slam. Well, this is aggressive play here, going after it, never giving up on it, finishing off for your team. And and down at this end of the court with with conceivably your best player on the bench okay the big guys from utep are showing that yeah. you know what it's about team and in fact i don't know what the numbers are but i'll find out in a minute i think utep's got a, got a plus mark got more points with hunter off off the court yes. than on the court in terms of the margin and, and of course right now if you're ray harper you got to be a little concerned because george fan picked up his Third personal foul, and he stays in the game. Yeah, you almost got to leave him in, I think. Good players should be able to play with three fouls in the second half. Here's Fan. Western Kentucky has scored on six of their last seven possessions. Fan on Wilms. Spin move! Talk about quickness with the ball. Both teams' best bigs that we talked about before the game can do things with the basketball off the bounce. Washburn, nice job quieting the crowd, and we are tied. Or when UTEP regains the lead at 47 45. Tell you what, Washburn looks like he could play all day. I mean, he's built to play, <laughs> he's a thoroughbred. Fant this time pops out. Fant with 10 points in the ball game. This shot by Clayton, no. Price the rebound, and they'll set it up again. Price trying to get around the defense. <laughs> no basket. It's going to be on the drive. Well, George Fant has done his part here in the second half. He's got 10 points to go along with seven rebounds. They've scored just about every way you can. Two out of yeah. bounds, threes. You name it. How about the fact that Western Kentucky, after 11 first-half turnovers, have not turned the ball over here in the second half thus far? What a difference that makes in a ball game. Big time. You know, the other thing, before we, we're looking at this trap, and I'm going to come back to something in a minute, which is kind of kind of incredible, and that is that UTEP right now is plus 10 with Hunter with on the bench. Plus 10. That, that is amazing. That means the subs are doing a great job. Nice ball fake. Jackson. Jackson got to be ready to shoot that, though, just like Price that time. Price will launch the three, and he rattles it home. Price goes into double digits, 10 for the ball game. West Kentucky to their patented three-quarter court pressure. Six they tie, six lead changes, Coach. That's it. And the defense is designed to make you make a mistake. And then there is a foul called, and that'll be on Jackson. That'll be Jackson's second personal foul. Team's third. 
But what did Tim say? I want to be within two. Yep. With two. He might get. He better. He, he might get his wish. Lang has done a nice job in this ball game for UTEP. Doesn't get the free throw to go down. He is now six of nine from the stripe. Yeah, and those are huge because that's the front end of a one and one. Yeah. You know, he's like giving away two points. Inside of ten minutes left to play in the ball game. Look at inside fan. Tries to feed Lawson. First turnover of the second half for Western Kentucky. But they're doing a great job of getting the ball into the post. Lang leans in. That's going to be a blocking foul. Count the basket. Good call. Is that going to be on Fant? Because if it is, it'll be number four. Yes, I believe it will. And it is. And you watch this drive here. Okay, he's still moving. Those, he's moving his feet. You can see his feet moving. Good call. And now Fant will have to go out with 940 to play in the ball game. Well, you know, the way this game's going, Ron, uh, it's probably, I mean, honestly, he, it might be good for him to get some time on the bench. Question will be, when do you put him back in? Usually it'll be about four minutes to go. And again, missing the free throw. Good call again. It's going to be a double dribble. Back-to-back -back turnovers for Western Kentucky. George Fan has to sit. Might not be the worst thing in the world, though. Yeah, I, this game, I think this game's coming down to the very, very end. So, how big will that foul on the three-point shot as we went to halftime be? Because he made all three free throws. Could be the difference between winning and losing the game. That's how big. Well, they just called another foul, grabbing the jersey of C.J. Cooper. Yeah, yeah the Frost, uh, you know, didn't move his feet, used his arms. So guess what? He goes and gets a reward, which is called the bench. The bench. Johnson called for the foul, and at the line, it'll be Vince Hunter. But just the fact that Coach put him in tells you he's got a lot of confidence wow. in him. That's the second straight one and one they've missed. So they've left four and points the third in the overall line. miss. Yes, and they try to complete the uh, end one. Harrison Dock banks it home! <laughs> They're saying it's a two, but he'll get a free throw. Chris Harrison Docks is on what was on the line. On what line? He looked like he was so far behind the three. Was his foot on the line? Yes. Yes, it is. The wow. pinky. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Coach is going to try and get. <laughs> he's going to try and get everything he can. Yeah. I don't blame you, Rick. Get him. I'll tell you, that guy, you wonder why he's won four national championships. I wouldn't yeah. care if they were in junior high school. The guy can flat out coach as Coach Floyd as well. And Harrison Docks completes the three-point play, and the Hilltoppers go up by a deuce. I'll tell you what, this league has so many good coaches. I agree. I mean, it's incredible. I remember talking to coaches a couple of years ago saying how this league does not get the credit they deserve. I don't think there's any way they should get less than two bids into the NCAA. Oh, season. I agree with you. You know, the, the, the problem is, is that there's a, the, the teams at the bottom, good defense, the teams at the bottom of the league, you know, really are bringing down the, the everybody else. That's the problem. Now, Vince Hunter commits the foul. That is his third personal foul. Look at it again. He just lost control. Well, the way things are going tonight, Ron, they might be better off with him on the bench anyhow yeah. tonight, okay? Because he's not 100%. And we know how great a player he is. But even the great ones have nights where they're not, not themselves. Exactly. 19 fouls on Western Kentucky, so you tap the double bonus, and they haven't taken advantage of it tonight. I'm looking at that matchup over there between Washburn and Price, and those guys just chasing each other all over the place. This time Washburn got a piece of it. That's going to be a foul. And it's going to be against Western Kentucky and Rostov. You know, you mentioned earlier, Ron, that, uh, that Hunter was not moving really that well. And, and, and once again, you know, he's, he tweaked his knee a little bit. And yeah. obviously, just a little bit can make a big difference. He's not hes not himself tonight. Now, Rostov, that's his fourth personal foul. That's okay. You let him go. You let him foul out. In fact, you let any of the other bigs foul out. Exactly. And give, and, and, and give Fant a chance to rest a little bit longer. 
too, there's too much time left to put fans in right now. Well, they're going to bring Justin Johnson back in. And yeah. again, that's four consecutive misses from the line for Utah. Wow. Now, as great a player as he is, I mean, he's shooting 45% in league play from the free throw line. I mean, that's, there's no way. He should be an 80% free throw shooter. Oh, my goodness. UTEP's going to look at this and say, we are 9 of 19 from the free throw line tonight. Wow. 4 of 11 in the second half. Long pass. Those long passes are so dangerous. Oh. Jackson loses it, gets his dribble back. Wow. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Lawson sets the pick, and he rolls. He'll try it again. Jackson pulls the trigger. And here comes Hunter. They'll be ready to pull up. He's going to take it himself. Out of control. Slam dunk Matt Wilms. You know, you were talking about the fact that uh, more than one team from this league, and you're, you're so right. I mean, I think there's, there's three or four teams that could be NCAA teams this year. Lawson from the outside, tipped up. Hunter pulls it down. He's got to stay in a little bit more control now. Well, he does. This is inside, and now they're going to try to set it up again. Omega Harris for three. Halfway down, falls out. Hunter almost picked up another foul. That would have been silly. The Rice dishes, and he throws it away. Is that Washburn again? Getting a little sloppy here on the part of both teams. Both teams get a little tired. That's what it is. And there'll be a TV timeout coming up. Tell you, Price, I don't know if Price has had to work this hard in any game in a long, long time. Washburn has done an incredible job. Washburn pulls the trigger, buries it. He's had a nice game offensively and defensively. You on Conference USA standings. Obviously, Louisiana Tech losing in Denton, Texas tonight to North Texas. So, Louisiana Tech, UAB at 5-1. Well, we have a four-way tie for the lead after tonight. <laughs> we could, I'll tell you what. And the way, it, if it's up to number four, Mr. Washburn, we will. Because I'll tell you right now, he is just, he's doing it both ends of the court. He's scoring and he's playing incredible defense. Well, now there's Washburn. a substitution problem because Wilms went out and they can't substitute at that point. So he has to come back in. The ball will have to be put in play. Yep, and Lang will have to wait. Hey, Wilms has done a nice job too. I like the sky hook. Could be my favorite shot tonight. Yeah, he has. <laughs> you know, and he's and he's doing it on a night when they really need it. Okay, because Hunter's not his self tonight. There's Jackson. I was gonna say right now, looking at a little maybe triangle and two, or a little combo defense where you got three guys playing basic basic man to man. You got two guys chasing their men around. You're chasing the point guard, trying to take him off the ball in. And Price as well. And they give it up quickly to Cooper. And he'll set things up. The senior point guard showing some poise out front. I tell you, this is what makes this team so difficult. Great back to a play. Inside Omega. Harris can't finish it out. Nice Western Kentucky up. with numbers. Got to shoot that right away. Jackson. They go inside. Johnson counted. The freshman from Hazard, Kentucky. That's the kid we saw play yeah. earlier. And we are tied at 53. Everybody, including us, getting their money's worth tonight. Absolutely. Inside of six minutes to play. You know, at some point in time in the game, it's like, I always, I always mention it, somebody's got to make three stops in a row. I think in this game right here, if you can make three stops in a row, you're going to win this game. Price on Wolves, and that shot is going to be rejected by Johnson. Harrison Dox has Price running. Gets it to Price. Nice pass, Johnson, and he is going to be... No, no call. Up ahead, Omega Harris. Wow. Yeah, I'd say wow. There was definitely a foul on that, but then again, there's been, there's been a few fouls at both ends of the court. A lot just, of physical play, and yeah. Ray Harper's letting the officials know about it. Harrison Dox, he's lost nice, nice pass. pass, Johnson. This time, no doubt. And we are tied again at 55. 
Well, that shows you that young man can play. Maybe they just need to play against the top teams for, the, for, <laughs> for him to show you stuff. Okay, Mr. Johnson. 55 apiece. And they quiet the crowd again. Wilms having an outstanding game this evening. Well, I'll tell you what, if I'm UTEP, I'm going into Wilms. I'm going into him and into him. They have no answer for his jump hooks. Price working on Wilms. Scoop shot, TJ Price. He's got a dozen in the ballgame, and we are tied again at 57. Conditioning. Timeout, UTEP. The 9.40 mark, he sat for 5.30. When he left, UTEP was up by just one. We are now tied. And fans had some rest. These first 10, 20 seconds of yeah. this, of right now so important. He can't pick up another foul. He's got to allow himself to get back into the ball game. Look for Western Kentucky to probably go a little zone to try and save Fan. Looks like that's what, that's exactly what they're doing. Well, fans just patrolling the paint right now, and UTEP throws it away. Can't force it in. Ten turnovers in the ball game for UTEP. Both these guys you talk about coach coaches open three you can't leave him open misses the shot Lawson had it lost it he'll go to the line 337 to play in the ball game we talked about the intensity of both coaches coach Floyd coach Harper coach Harper coach you can see some of the numbers on him you know when we were talking during the break about you know, he still has a double-double tonight. Yes, he does. And, you know, it's funny. I mean, you look at him. He's so good. As I guess you expect him to get 20 and 20. But the reality is he's got a little slightly tweaked knee. He hasn't practiced much this week. He's, he's a little bit rusty. And yet he still has a double-double. That's how good yeah. he is. And that's why right now, if you had player of the year voting, he'd probably be the player of the year in conference USA. Lawson now one for three. Or... He has one for three from the free throw line. Shoots 50% on the season. Once again, this is a battle for first place in Conference USA. Huge game. And he's shooting 50% tonight. UTEP has won 12 of their last 13 Conference USA road games. Will they add another one to that? Well, Tim said, I want to be within two, with two to go. And the way this game going, it's going to come right down to that. From the outside, Cooper, no. Western Kentucky can add to the lead. Price up ahead. Johnson. Nice kick out. Kicks out for the three. No. And they get another shot at it. Nice Price, stuff. nice dish inside, and Johnson's going to be fouled. And they're going to be shooting free throws again, and that is really one of the areas where I think the difference will be because Western Kentucky, 12 of... And you look at some of the great coaches here at Western Kentucky, Gene Cady, Clem Haskins, Ralph Willard, Dennis Dalton. So there's been some names here, too. Yes, I remember when Clem Haskins came into my uh, basement uh, with with uh, Gene Cady. They were recruiting Patrick Ewing back oh, in, that's uh, funny. in 1980. And you were his high school coach. Rebound after the missed free throws. And Hunter Patrick. reaches down on the left knee and kind yeah. of gives it a grab. You know, it's going to be really interesting. They get through tonight. You know, what happens the next night out for Hunter? Exactly. They are going to be busting to Marshall immediately following this game. They play their Saturday. Washburn kicks it back out. Morris has been quiet tonight. You know, you just said that. I look for him to make a big shot real soon. Shot clock at five. Cooper tries to dish, throws it away. Yeah, he had gone in there that time, Ron, and he was thinking pass all the way and uh, made it kind of easy for the defense. Ray Harper's going to call a timeout with Bobby Breswell. So these guys have got great assistant coaches as well. Ray Harper has never had a losing season as a head coach. Right now, he's up by two with 2.14 to play. And guess what? He's not going to have a losing season this year. No, right? he won't. 
Jackson goes to the far side. Tend to shoot. They're trying to get Price some kind of a look. They switch and Wilms has him. He sees the double. He throws it into the hands of Washburn. What a game he's playing. Somebody's got to take control offensively for UTEP because they have not looked fluid the last couple of trips down the court. No, they have not. I think Morris is the guy. I mean, he's got to give. He's got to give him. I mean, he's averaging 15, almost 16 a game in league play. They need a big basket out of him. Washburn will pull the trigger over Fan, and it doesn't go. Halfway down, pops out. William Washburn was just shaking his head going down the court. Which team, which team is going to find it? Over the top again. That's a good foul, though, by Lang. You didn't want to give Fan the easy two. Once but a again, nice pass on yeah. the inside. Great pass, but once again, you come back to the pass. Those passes are possible. Look at the defensive man's hands. They're down. You've got to be up pressure in the basketball. Hand, hands down. Pass over the top. Basket. Lang does a nice job of making sure Fant knew that wasn't trying to intentionally yank him. Wow. But it just, that, was a, that, was, that was an ugly shot. Well, Fant's always had a little bit of difficulty at the free throw line. And uh, even though this year he's a little bit better than he usually is, about 67% in league play. But those are two ugly free throws. And now UTEP, who hasn't scored in the last four possessions with 105 to play, down by two. Western Kentucky showing some, some two point zone here. Doing a great job on that. Nice screen up top. This is the guy. He's, he's got to be looking for his shot. Morris goes. Shot clock at 10. Morris will launch the three and he'll short arm it. Rebound into the hands of Price with 40 seconds left. Seven second difference shot in the game clock. Dangerous pass. <laughs> you heard the fans moaning and groaning on that pass over the top. Dangerous pass. They get it into the hands of Price. And Washburn's got him. Coach Harper's going to burn a timeout. He'll have two. Good idea to follow him, put him on the free throw. Yeah. But what you really want is to stop. You want to give yeah. yourself one last chance to, to win the game. And you know something? In this situation, you go for the win. You got a good open look, take it. Seven seconds to shoot. On the drive over Hunter. No. Hunter gets the rebound. Plenty of time to get a good shot. I don't know why he went so quick. Omega Harris. Lang loses it. Morris for three. Doesn't get it. And he's fouled on the play. My goodness. You know what? Only the really good officials, and Duke Exel is a great official, you know, will have the guts to call that on the road. Okay, I mean, it basically in the in the home court, on the home court. Correct call. Now we go back to the first half. UTEP committed a foul as the half ended on a three. And now with 1.2 left in the game, Western Kentucky has the foul on the three. And that'll send Urban Morris to the line. 62% on the year from the strike. Which sort of surprises me. I mean, the way he shoots the ball from three... I mean, he's a 53% three-point shooter, and yet, like you said, he's, he's just less than 70. But the game's on the line right now. Stats don't mean anything. This way, you got to step up, and if you're him, you got to knock him down. Not shooting with any confidence at all. Now, here's what I don't understand. Okay, why don't you have guys in rebound position? There's not one... Western, I mean, UTEP player, okay, on the lane. Now, maybe they'll bring him in after this one. This, this is the game right here on this free throw. UTEP still alive. Now they'll bring players in on the lane. Got to. So I guess the strategy was don't put guys on the lane for the first two in case you don't want to commit a violation. Right. But now you got to put them in position to get a rebound in case of a miss. This is for the tie. In all likelihood, this is... This is the game right here, Ron. Taking a lot of 
time. And we are tied with 1.2 left. You know, every game we do 1.2 left. Well, West, Western Kentucky right now, there's nobody on the ball. They're going to go long. Got to just knock it down at the UTEP. And yeah, they almost got away with wow. the foul. Lawson looked like he hooked Omega Harris, and we are going. I might be a battle of attrition. It might be. This is like now, whatever you're paying your strength and conditioning coach, we'll find out if it's worth it. Exactly. But that's why you run all summer and you, and you go double sessions in the early, early preseason. And UTEP will begin the extra session with a basketball. And they'll go against Western Kentucky zone. Once again, I think the main reason to try to keep Fant in the game. And, you know, with Morris not being really shooting with confidence, it's really working yeah. into their hands to be in the zone. So if Morris don't want to shoot it, Harris got it. He's only three of nine shooting. This Washburn's guy's not shoot afraid it. to shoot it. Doesn't get it. Rebound into the hands of Fan. Great box out. Uh, great box out that time. By Lawson. Great box out. Eight rebounds for George Fan, along with ten points. Lawson, they leave him alone. Takes the drive off the glass. All Williams could do was put up his hands. Talk about big guys playing with confidence. Both the seven footers are playing with a lot of confidence tonight. Again, who's going to step up offensively? Nice skip pass over the top. Got to be ready to shoot that, though. Somebody's got to take control. You think it would be Morris? You would think so. Nice pass. Inside Lang. <laughs> you know, both teams seem to be. You know, sort of like beating each other on the same over the top kind of action. That's where you got to get better ball pressure. Hunter will come back into the lineup next break, and the action is Chris Harrison Dock gives the Hilltoppers the two point advantage. It's kind of nice to see him make a couple of big baskets because that kid's in the gym, I mean, shooting and shooting and shooting. Morris on top. Yeah, both teams look like they're a little tight. You got to look to take that shot. Now, with 113 to play, right. Morris will inbound it. He's joined by C.J. Cooper, Julian Washburn, Vince Hunter, and Cedric Lang. Jackson guarding the inbounds pass. Right. Everybody standing inside the arena, and they stay the uh, zone. Well, actually, went man to man that time. That's a three off the mark. Hunter had it, stepped out of bounds, and it belonged to Western Kentucky. Tim Floyd wants a press, calling his players up. I'll tell you what, uh, West Kentucky, I mean, coming up and playing the three point shooters the way they are, I mean, that is really close to being called yep. a, a foul and a three for three as well. Don't have to foul. You gotta, you gotta get a stop though. You can't let West Kentucky score any kind of basket here. Inside of a minute. That's gonna be a foul away from the basketball, and it's gonna be against Lang. He can put the elbow up, and that is five on him. He'll have to go out. But that might have been part of the, the plan because look who the foul was against. Yeah. It was against Fant. So if he misses this, then you probably say, you know what, coach? Good play, good call. Watch yeah. the left side of the screen coming up here on the replay. You can see exactly what happened. What do they call this in the what do they used to call this? Hack a shack. Hack a shack. Yeah. Yeah, that looked very uh, very intentional. Because you're not going to be denying Fant away from the basket unless you want to foul him. Well, he's 0 for 2 from the line, and he had the air ball in one of two the last time he was at the strike and he's 64 percent basically on the line and neither one was even no. remotely close especially that first one well and then the second one was long so maybe this one will be right in between you never know there you go now if they follow him on purpose that's kind of gutsy because yeah. he's got two so you must really feel this guy is just not going to make the free throw Wow. And he 
Makes the second, the lead goes to four. <laughs> that one looked like the least likely to go in. Still two possessions. And they had missed the last five free throw attempts prior to that make. They'll try the three. That was a four shot, never had a chance. Washburn with the two. They needed to get something with 40.9 to play. Oh, plenty of time. I mean, what you need right now is a stop. I mean, even if, even if Western Kentucky was able to hold the ball with the whole 35, you're still going to have time to get the ball and score. Was it? Fans wide open! Still a four point game. Morris, that's going to be a foul called against Western Kentucky on the aggressive move by Urban Morris. Yeah, I don't know. It's a mix up here because uh, there's no way he should be this wide open that he's not going to miss that. That's for sure. Well, we know he wasn't Julian Washburn's guy because he's been in Price's shirt all night, and now Urban Morris at the line. Well, they went to free throw. They went to double, and when they doubled, somebody's supposed to be protecting the ball. Morris's free throws tied this game that sent it into overtime. Needs at least one here. Because he's also shooting two. Plenty of time. Lead is three. Shot clock turned off. It's about controlling clock, clock management for Western Kentucky. Fant had the rebound. They're calling it a jump ball. The possession arrow, Western Kentucky. With 27.7 play left to play. Brandon Price, number five, the sophomore walk-on, comes in. We saw him in the Louisville game. He's a little did. spark plug. He's a they tough took, guy. They took Fan out. They want some dribblers in there now. And obviously. they want some free throw shooters in yeah. there. Yeah. Because UTEP's got a foul. Or oh, get a steal right away. Right. Got, got away with a hook. Got away with a hook on the arm. Harrison Dox will hold it up, and they're going to have to foul him. And he is an outstanding free throw shooter at 78%. Three point uh, advantage. He makes even one of them. One of one of these two. It's now UTEP's got to get two baskets. It would put West Kentucky in a great position to win this game and go into sole possession in the first place. Oh, he's made 42 of his last 51 from the line. That's the way you shoot free throws, coach. Well, you can tell him he wants it. I mean, he really wants it. They don't have another. Comes out of one great program. Butler comes into another great program. Wow. Rare miss. Still hope for Oh, Utah. yeah. Yes, there is. They got to do something quickly, though. They'll launch the three. No. Rebound Jackson, and he That's is fouled good. on the play. And that'll be the fifth personal foul on Vince Hunter. And that's going to do it. It should. It's not over yet. Ray Hop is telling these guys, look, it ain't over yet, guys. Yeah. It's not over yet. Crazier things have happened. So Vince Hunter has to foul out of the ball game. He leads with 13 points, 13 rebounds, and three assists. And Jackson at the line to shoot a pair. All he does need one, and it's definitely over. You know, here's a guy we talked a lot about, but he has done some things tonight just in ball control and getting the team to settle down. Yes, he has. That should do it. The lead is five with eight left. You know, the one thing before we go off the air tonight, I just want to say is, you know, Western Kentucky, you know, you talked about their tradition and all the things that they've done. They believe in themselves. They believe in this program. This is a huge, huge game for them. They'll try to launch another three, won't get it, and that's going to do it. Western Kentucky takes.